Oh, hi, how you doing? <laughs> Alright guys, checking out Massachusetts. Massachusetts for a place that we're really excited about visiting. We, uh, far from Tree Cider, we, uh, we've heard a lot of great things about this place uh, and um, we're very excited to uh, check it out. And we're here a week before Halloween, so there's no better place to be for Halloween than Salem, Massachusetts. So here we have Al Snape with us. Thank yeah. you guys for coming. It's a pleasure to have you. Oh my gosh, excited. we're excited. Yeah. We're excited. Yeah. So let's check out the cidery. Sure, go for a little walk. Yeah. A little walk. A little walk. We are gonna walk. It's a 120 year old building. It's been many, many things before it was a cider house. It was um, a slaughterhouse like 80 years ago. It's been like a kind of a, a food kind of repackaging facility. So you're gonna see a lot of like relics of that. So just know it's kind of uh, rustic. <laughs> 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 oh wow! Sleep over here. Whoa, We're doing sleep awesome. over here. Whoa. <laughs> so, That's a lot. Uh, obviously, very low ceilings. Watch your head. Uh, but we do all fermenting and aging down here because it stays cool in the summer and warm uh, in the winter. It's in totes, it's not in barrels, but traditionally that's how you would do it, kind of in New England. You take advantage of the cool winters to kind of keep your cellar cool throughout the summer. So we do everything down here. Uh, we don't have any kind of heat or anything crazy down here. We just like it down here. It's not yeah. beautiful for the camera, but the cider doesn't know where it is. It just cares about temperature. So that's what we really like to do fermenting down here. Uh, we have started fermenting juice from this year, but most of this cider here is from last year. So we'll ferment and then we let it age down here for quite a while. It's a little bit different from Every cider house does things differently, but we really like to let it age. We like to let it sit around for quite a while. So this is kind of what you can kind of see here. Um, if you look right here real quick, this will, I'll show you. This just kind of shows all of our tanks, kind of different things we're doing, different dates, uh, different yeast we're using, kind of all that. <laughs> so how did you guys bring all this stuff down? Because the, like the juice, we just have a we have a line that we run down. No, I'm saying like all this bulk. These come down from a lift elevator. I'll show you guys that okay. later. That's like a hundred year old lift elevator. Oh, really? <laughs> Not for people, only for kids. <laughs> you can't take a ride. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Sometimes we'll add spices before we ferment. Sometimes we'll add something like fresh basil like a couple days before we can it. We really like the fresh flavor, the fresh aroma of that. So if we're gonna do something like a, like something more fresh before, we'll do that up here. And then we'll move from these tanks over to the right tank being over here. These beams up here are pretty cool. Um, these were built, um, so it's such thick logs here, you know, these are from 100, 200 year old trees and it was built, you know, 100 wow. years ago. So you can assume these trees are standing, you know, were, were probably planted, you know, 300, 400 years ago. But I think I have a money idea for you, man. Yeah. You should make an Airbnb here because we will hang out here. <laughs> <laughs> I think it actually, maybe, 
Don't worry about it. You're all good. Stop. It's just a ghost. I'm a cow. Don't worry about it. I've been here like late at night and I'm like, is that like a moon? It's a little creepy at night when you're by yourself. Oh, this place is haunted like too. Yeah, you hear something and you know you're the only one in this entire building. It's, it's You get used to it. There you go. You know, have a slider and you feel better. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is kind of where the sausage is made, yeah, as awesome, it is. Um, and now I'll walk you guys out and we'll go over the top. Let's do it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, let's do it. This is an old safe that was from the 1920s, back when businesses like did not trust the banks. So yeah, they give you Hogwarts vibes. I know, right? <laughs> so. That's kind of cool relic, really, like, you know, it's just it's so heavy that no one's moved it out of here. And they'll probably be you here. Um, I know, right? No one, no one knows the. Um, that is so cool. No one you knows can put, you can put your recipe in there. Yeah, there really? <laughs> yeah. I put, I put that on the cloud with passwords. <laughs> um, but yeah, kind of a cool old relic for me. Yeah, like, that's really cool. Yeah. But we can walk out and I'll show you guys the path, man. Well, Pat, you made it out in one piece without tripping, huh? Hey, <laughs> clumsy <laughs> one here. <laughs> That's why we don't get many cameras. <laughs> 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 uh, so usually this is our just our patio here. We've kind of blown out that way and blown out that way for a bit. Uh, so we just have some tents there, sit up here. Um, this is our current flight right now. Uh, we have a couple staples. We have a couple that we like to kind of do something new every couple weeks. You know, big thing that we do here is have a lot of fun experiment like crazy. We don't, you know, if we don't nail it, it's not perfect. We really enjoy negative feedback's cool too. Yeah. We just like doing experimental fun stuff, having people try it. If they say, you know, I don't like that, but it was interesting, that's still a win for us. So what we do is yeah. we, we do a lot of stuff. We do a lot of stuff that's kind of weird, you know, far from the tree. You know, we're, we're we kind of lean into being who we are and just having a lot of fun. So this is kind of our current flight. So the first one is Massachusetts. Um, this one is a very dry cider. It's 100% Massachusetts Macintosh apples. Um, and it's, for us, it's just kind of like a pure cider. I kind of made it. Uh, good nose to it. The next one is Rye in the Wood, which is um, a cider that is from a distillery called Rye in Wood. But this is a uh, cider that's been in one of their barrels for a year and a half. Uh, whiskey barrel. Oh, wow. I like that aftertaste. Mm. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's not, it doesn't hit you as hard as actual whiskey does. That it's becomes definitely that's sweeter. a sweeter. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For me, the biggest influence that I learned from winemaking was about just kind of owning where you're from and owning what you have and owning who you are. So what made you decide to uh, pick Salem as your place? Because I, I know your story, you've been all, all, yeah. all over the place. I'm from Massachusetts originally, um, made wine in Europe for three years. I love how different each kind of region was, um, but I'm from here and I was like, I should just go back to where I'm from. Yeah and there's something cool there. And I grew up next to an orchard and I was like, I can treat apples like wine. I kind of started looking around and kind of spent some time here and I was like, I think this would make sense. So, yeah. so just, it just felt right. It felt very like open to being kind of crazy. You know, dressing up for Halloween is about Love being somewhere else. <laughs> it's about saying, I can do whatever I want today. I can dress up however I want and it's all cool. So that kind of culture kind of leads into kind of why we do this. Do you drink like one thing for the rest of your life, which one would you pick? Water? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's not an option. Okay, so <laughs> That's not one of the choices. <laughs> if I was going to be drunk for the rest of my life, I would definitely, I know, I like champagne. This one is the uh, Bob, so this is kind of like a Thanksgiving kind Ooh. of cider. So it's still on the drier side. It's cranberries with um, rosemary, sage, and thyme. Oh, oh wow. it does. Yeah. It's, oh, I can't even. It's a so good mix of like crisp mm. and dry. It's right in the middle, balanced between sweet and dry. That really is there. Yeah, we haven't did it. <laughs> so this is Nova. This is our hop cider. We've been making this oh, one for oh. maybe about five years. This is our, kind of our first flagship. It's oh, funny. It's on a sweeter side. 
Yeah, yeah. sweet. Yeah. Yeah. I, I get a lot of dry to it too. Yeah. It's like right in the middle. So, so, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's see. so next one is apple of my chai, like apple of my eye. <laughs> That's really good. I think most people who fall in love with ciders mm. are like typically it. people who like the sweet ciders, and then get into dry. Mm. You know, I mean, you do catch people who immediately, you know, gravitate towards the dry ciders, but yeah. most people just go into the sweet ciders. This thing. is a good introduction, yeah, man. Ciders here. This is the ectoplasm. All this right, we're looking for it. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. Yeah, the spicing and um, wow. the fruit is like ham. Got definite spice to it, for sure. While you're drinking that, let me go grab a couple bottles of some cool stuff we did. They're going to be done and dry, so it's going to be a little weird, but let me go grab those one time. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Dude, I am so impressed with that. All right. So, oh, slushy. The dude, the slushy is good. Uh, right there. I'm it getting is. drunk. <laughs> a little bit. Um, well, we're going, we're going solo without Are you getting um, drunk? Without Al right now, but we couldn't help ourselves. I, I, dude, wait, wait, wait. These are good. What is this? So that's peppermint with chocolate. So really high peppermint. We're using it's called chocolate peppermint. Wait, so no, this is really good. I could do this with like two breakups. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like you know what is the yeah. breakup? <laughs> you know, you know what is the breakup? I don't even know. For some reason, that speaks to me. You know? I love it. He's got a lot of things there. It's like you know, it's like he gets his heart broken a lot. You know when you get heartbroken and then you. Ice cream? That's what it's like, like this is it! <laughs> like, drown your sorrows with cider. Like, I'm going to get a lot of sad people coming in here. Yeah. 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 We have one more. It's a mold cider. So that's why that's a uh, cider that's kind of... It's uh, Massachusetts. We add a little fresh juice and some spices to that. Slushies are great in the summer, in the winter, fall. This is good. Oh, this is good too. That's good. Yeah, you kicked it up a notch. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Um, this is called Scarecrow, which is uh, one we really love. It's all from apples that we have foraged from around Salem. So fall, we go around, we drive around, we find any apples we can, pick all the apples, put them back, we'll pick them, bring them back here. We just everything we can find, we put it together every year, we make the cider from that. Funky, yeah. earthy, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Like, like the opposite of the pepper and Definitely. You literally just hit every freaking area of the palate. Such a diverse like lineup. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Man. Thank you guys Thank for coming. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's what, what keeps us doing is people that, that care, the people that get yeah. yeah, appreciate it. So you know, I will return the thank you and that you guys care and, and enjoy the diversity of it. That's what really keeps us going. The cider majors is. Having people like you or people watching that, that really are into it, that's, we love the back of the work. So thank you guys for coming. I, I really appreciate it. I mean, I, after this, I might pick up some YouTube. I, don't know. Yeah, I, love, yeah, I love what you guys do so much. Yeah. Hey. If you need help with them, man. Yeah. yeah. Come back. Yeah, here for free. Every free year, come back. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank sure. you very much. Sure. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. guys and cider signing out we just left far from the tree cidery um, such a cool place diverse flavors uh, definitely attacked every area of the palate um, loved it and it's so cool that we're in Salem Massachusetts yep. you know the birthplace of like so many witch stories Salem witch trials and uh, you guys will see so much of the footage when we're walking around but really cool yeah. what's your favorite part
Uh, I loved the whole thing. I didn't know you were asking. I, I, thought, I thought the whole thing was cool. I thought all the flavors had their own, like you said, it hit your distinct palates and everything. But I love the slushies. I love uh, every flavor was, you know, Pepper different in its own way. Yeah. 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 Um, Salem, like you said, perfect uh, place for Halloween. Um, great atmosphere. Great things to check out. What'd you think? Yeah, I think it's like Salem is pretty awesome. The people here are awesome. It kind of feels weird at night when we're like walking around and stuff. <laughs> Asia always got sucked into it. <laughs> it's so easy like to get psychic. lost here. It's easy to get, um, you know, caught into doing a psychic circles. reading. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just like ha like having a good memories with these people. Yeah. Shout out to our two camera girls in the back. Yeah. Um, they're gonna do a little spin-off series on their YouTube. Name <laughs> uh, pending, we'll see. So stay tuned for our sister channel. Um, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Yep, whatever they say. Ring that whatever bell. They say. <laughs>